morning, good morning, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I am Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. So hey guys, so I just wanted to start Vlogmas off with the reason for the season Bible verse. Another continuation, Luke 1, 67 through 80. It's titled Zechariah's Song. His father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. The oath he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before all of our days. And you, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go on before the Lord to prepare the way for him, to give his people the knowledge of salvation through the forgiveness of their sins, because of the tender mercy of our God by which the rising sun will come to us from heaven, to shine on those living in the darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in the spirit, and he lived in the wilderness until he appeared publicly to Israel. A Men. Good morning, Mother. Uh -huh. Lexi. Good morning. <laughs> We're not ready to travel. Believe me, I will check with my doctor and see what they say. Whatever. How are you? You selling any houses? I'm fine. Thank you very much. Just a little bit under the weather, but I'm good. Yeah. What is it that's wrong? Just have a cold. You should have no flu, you should take the flu shot. She said she had a cold. I don't have the flu, I have a cold. Yeah, you take the flu shot? No, I don't. I'm not taking the damn flu shot. Uh, okay, let's well, catch the flu. I don't have the flu, what's wrong with you? I know you don't have the flu, but you will, you're going to get it. You're not in a position because nobody wants to. Hey, all my tests come back negative. You okay. are just freaking lucky, that's it. That was a warning. You better listen. All my tests come back negative. All right, y'all. So the old man has went back to sleep. <laughs> Him and my mother are a hoot, okay? She griping at him over the phone, like they still married or something. Anyways, I'm just blessed to have parents <laughs> that still communicate and have love for one another. They were married for 18 years and clearly went to Splitsville. Um, but hey, it's all good. Call it blessed. <laughs> I'm about to go to my dad's apartment, take a shower, smell like, smell like, out, like not like a hospital, stop and get me something to eat because it is so hard trying to be keto friendly around here. Like I haven't even, I ate yesterday, I haven't ate anything. The nice nurse lady, she brought me some tea this morning, but <clears throat> with regular sugar, <laughs> you know, but oh, y'all. It is December 14th and I have not flown one day in the month of December. Oh, and I don't know when I'm going back to work because my daddy is stubborn. He is 70 years old. He is a diabetic. Um, and he doesn't make the best health decisions and choices. So my priority now is to make sure that he gets out of here goes to physical therapy and do what these people tell him to do and take his correct medicine because he just feel like he a doctor you know he's been diabetic since I was born so that's at least 30 years so he just think he knows it all but clearly you don't Ugh, just stubborn just a stubborn old Jamaican man that's all he is anyways I get to drive his nice little car around so that's the plus <laughs> All right, y'all, fresh out the shower. <sighs> I just picked up a trip for the 19th. The 19th is next Wednesday. Daddy is supposed to be at physical therapy rehab place either Monday or Tuesday. So 
fingers crossed that I can go to work because Lord, I am nervous about this paycheck that's coming up. <laughs> like as much as I want to be here and I'm going to be here for daddy. I'm like, um, but what about my paycheck, my per diem? Like, I know I've explained this to y'all before. So I can PTO my hours. Um, I can, I've applied for FMLA, you know, all this stuff. But still, one of our paychecks is basically all of our per diem. We get paid twice a month. And one of the checks is our per diem month. It's our per diem check. So if I don't work, I don't make no per diem. So I'm like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. That, that can't happen. So I'm like, Lord, so I done picked up a trip with all intentions to be back at work. <laughs> oh, goodness. And you know, I got goals, y'all. Like, okay, let me remember how to start this car. This old BMW. Press the button, press the brake, press the button again. Like, I'm just like... <sighs> My daddy has always loved cars. Like that has always been his thing. Um, I press that button, release that, drive, drive. Okay. Um, rain. Yeah. So y'all know I want to buy a house, so I need to work to save money. And it, now it's like even more important because I was asking my father last night, like. Once I buy a house in Houston, well, he just moved back to Houston and like I make a, a daddy suite for him because he's out here in Atlanta, not necessarily by himself. He has a brother that lives here and a wonderful woman in his life that is not his girlfriend, but don't tell her that. <laughs> um, that, you know, takes really, that looks out for him, you know? But like I said, my daddy is an old stubborn Jamaican man. So I personally would just feel a lot better. And I know he wants to move back to Houston. If he just moved back to Houston, where I can have a keep an eye on him. My other sister is there. My brother is there. My mom and all her siblings are there. And yes, everybody still has a very good relationship. Like when my parents got divorced, like we were still family. You know, it's still family. Tony is still a part of the family, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, like, there's no, we don't do that bad blood stuff around here. So, anyways, it would just put me at ease. So, now I, like, feel even more of an urge to, like, get to Houston and buy a house and just, like, get my father, like, back there. Um, so, yeah, you know, I just, things like this happen and it just really has, like, all these thoughts running in your mind and I remember somebody telling me a while ago like when your parents get older I mean older it's like you know the times have changed in reverse it's like now you're the child and you're taking care of them even though as much as he doesn't think he needs nobody taking care of him still you know like it's now our responsibility to make sure that he is taking care of himself health wise and everything else really too so, yeah, I'm just like, dang. All right, Alexia. It's really time to put, you know, the pedal to the metal and get things done. Um, I only packed my bag. Next subject. I only packed my suitcase, like, with one pair of pants and two sweaters. And so since I'll be here a few more days, I need to find, like, a... I'm a TJ Maxx Marshall. Look at that old man is stubborn. Stubborn okay will not let the doctors and nurses do their job talking about can you bring me this no i'm not bringing you nothing nothing let the doctors and the nurses do what they said they was gonna do and have some patience talking about they not doing their job i'm ranting to y'all because i'm irritated so i know how to do the job better no you don't because if you were taking care of yourself you wouldn't be laid up in the dang on hospital bed as it is now y'all my father, Tony Edwards, annoying. Woo! Anyways, like I was saying, I need to go find some clothes. At least, cause it's cold out here too in Atlanta. It's December, I guess it's gonna be a little chilly everywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Um, he requesting Chick-fil-A. I'm like, 
They done came and took your meal order for all for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't need no food. You know, he just, whew. good Lord, y'all. Just pray for me. Me, please. Thank you. <laughs> y'all ever heard of this place, Gusto? This is something new to me. What's your guff on Gusto? Or Gusto. <laughs> Something. This is what I got from Gusto. It's kind of like a Chipotle type of place, but instead they have like all their toppings are already pre-mixed, so you don't just select. But looks interesting. Keto friendly. Looks good. Let's see how it is. Mm, tastes good. Say hi, Daddy. Hi, Lexi. <laughs> Update. Father has been released. We're just waiting for the discharge paperwork so we can go on home. Look at me. Are you ready to go? Yes, Move I'm your ready hand. to go. Tell everybody thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the prayers, everyone. You're actually skinny. <laughs> was actually skinny don't hurt yourself my father is telling me that what was i was here for your birthday october 5th i ran in and ran out took him to spawn divots for his favorite restaurant flew in and went right back to the airport and flew out and he has the nerve to tell me that i was actually skinny and i've lost like 20 pounds since then oh yeah yeah father It's the old age that's getting to him. He, he, I have he, lost weight. Lots of it, too. Yeah, because you're sick. No. Old age. You're losing your memory. I told the doctor yesterday it was 1988. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the year you were born next year. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys so daddy got discharged tonight hallelujah thank the lord gets to go home and do in-home therapy and whatever he doesn't have to go to any facilities um but with all of that going on i forgot today i think today or was it yesterday it's supposed to start the 12 days of christmas so i actually have the little things in my purse so let's see which one i pull out Um, it is tape change to a vending machine. Oh, I could have done this when I was at the hospital. Okay, we'll save that for tomorrow and I'll tape some change to a vending machine somewhere tomorrow. Anyways, we're at Red Lobster. Daddy's treating me. Say hi, Daddy. Hi. <laughs> then we're gonna go to the house. I'll still be here until about Monday. Tuesday-ish until we get his physical therapy stuff all figured out. Oh, that's going to be the end of Vlogmas Day 15. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share.